Hey, private practice success community. How are you guys going? Um, Facebook, that's where I'm going. I am here on my trusty laptop that I've got here on the table outside my deck. I really should close that door. Hang on. the tent um, by the way because <laughs> this is on my public page and if you are here for the first time and you do not know who I am my name is Gerda Mala I'm a psychologist and I'm a private practice success business coach and mentor I'm currently coming to you from my family holiday now I thought I could sneak in a couple of minutes to spend with you guys and having a bit of a chat because everybody else is having a bit of a rest, right? So I'm just gonna to go to my page here so I can actually share this into my Facebook groups and hopefully somebody can join me live. Uh, here I am. So yes, we're actually on school holidays. This is the first week of school holidays here in Queensland. I am um, in Bribey Island area, so I can actually see the island right from where I'm sitting over the ocean. It's not really ocean, it's more sea, right? It's a bay. I will show you quickly what I can see from now. Um, so through the, look through the, uh, the trees, you'll see the water and then there's a land at the end of it. You can't see it so well in the video, but it's easier in person, of course. And we actually spent yesterday on the island all right so let me share this to the group i'll just share it to two groups and then we can get going okay our general facebook group share that and then i may also share this in the starting a successful private practice group World Central it's called and um, so the boys spent two hours just playing in a water park huge huge water slides and stuff and they were just running up and down beforehand I I had this moment where I thought I want to join in the fun and people said it just looked so awesome <laughs> it's Ethan it just looked so awesome right so much fun and then um, I had to remind myself, hang on Gerda, you are booked in for an iron transfusion. You are not somebody that can spend two hours running up and down slides because you need to climb like 30 meters up in the air before you go down, right? I can't do that for two hours. Not when doctors use words like, your iron is alarmingly no. We are amazed that you are still on your feet and not in bed the whole day. So I just pulled myself in and said, okay, what we'll do, I will sit and look. And of course I was the designated photographer and videographer because you've got kids like mine. They just go, mom, take a video, take a video, take a photo. That's all I had to do the whole time. <laughs> so now they're all nice and tired. Of course, my middle child, my 12 year old, ain't that too tired. He's already back at the uh, big swimming pool here that was Ethan he's having some time out on his iPad uh, my daughter is doing something on her laptop and my hubby is listening to some other YouTube videos on the bed I, I just heard them talking about very boring stuff but I thought that's it I'm speaking to my people did you find what you were looking for yes. all right I can see we've got three people here when you do join me, please say hi, say hello in the comment section so that I do know who you are because um, Facebook doesn't always tell me who's here live with me. And excuse the hair, I've got camping hair. <laughs> when I saw my hairdresser last week before we came when I, I told her we're coming camping, she said, you're going to come back with camping hair, better get you booked in right now. So I do have a booking to get back in on Saturday to have my camping hair fixed up. Right. So what I want to talk to you about 
is as per the title of this live stream and that is all about when your boundaries get tested now please tell me who here whether you're here live or whether you're watching the recording never have your boundaries tested nobody I would assume right um, even even people in power have their boundaries tested even authority figures have their boundaries tested I think it's really important to know that your boundaries will get tested so it's not that there's something wrong with you when somebody tests your boundaries right hey Anna Maria so glad to have you here um, so it happens do not personalize it right yes of course um, you might start to see patterns and themes in the testing of your boundaries which are important reflections but I would say that my first most important point now is that it happens all right it happens so if I had to think about examples of how my boundaries get tested and potentially yours and potentially that of you especially if you are a private practice owner within the allied health or general health field I mean it happens every day right an example could be a client calling up you quote your fees and their first response is oh that's really expensive um, you know is there any um, discounts that you can offer me or oh that's very expensive would you mind bottling me okay so that is an example for example uh, if that could happen as a practice owner you can have your boundaries tested by your team members right so if you've got a certain arrangement with a team member and they keep on coming back and go I don't want like that anymore I don't want to do it anymore uh, and they keep on testing your boundaries it could also be for example let's say if you have room rental agreements with your team or not really team right if you've got room rentals with your tenants uh, when you run a room rent rental model within your private practice they might come and go you know what um, uh, I'm gonna be away for two weeks I don't want to pay my room rental fee during that time even though they may have, might have signed an agreement when they initially um, signed up to lease the space with you that they would pay whether they're there or not right so it happens it happens and I think it's really important for us to recognize when this happens what is happening for you as a person you know what is your first knee-jerk reaction and there's no right or wrong okay there's no right or wrong it could be getting angry okay it could be just an annoyance it could be um, a feeling of anxiety like oh my goodness I've done something wrong hence they're testing it right it could be a sense of um, feeling victimized almost like why does this happen to me the whole time you know I think it's really important that when this happens you engage in some self-reflection because although we are business owners we are also human beings and a lot of times when it comes to boundaries we tend to react emotionally at first which is okay it's about recognizing that this happens all right and in order for you to get better and better at managing at tolerating boundary pushing and potentially sometimes boundary crossing right so some people just don't even push it they just go ahead and they cross the boundary and they just couldn't care um, that happens as well so for you to get better at managing and tolerating that you need to work on yourself right because it's going to then get easier over time so it's really important to ask where does that reaction come from it doesn't matter what that emotional reaction is you know um, of course being a, a psychologist I always go back to my clinical roots and I love transactional transactional analysis or TA that's why I just say TA right because I can't pronounce the word uh, TA uh, which is very much a psychodynamic type of approach and let's say if you have an anxiety reaction it's often your adapted child according to TA that's having a reaction because it feels like it's in the, the wrong like she or he is in the wrong doing the wrong thing and it's almost like that other person is like a critical parent judging you right and that makes it really hard for you to set a boundary because you're in the child state and that person is in the parental state in the parent state so that's just one example now you know if you don't like TA then there's other ways to interpret what's happening for you you know if it's really significant the emotions that you get when there's boundary pushing and, and <laughs> that's my 12 year old calling me from the pool 
inside somewhere when there's boundary crossing okay that can be a completely different kettle of fish depending on what boundaries get crossed right but i'm talking now generally in the sense of business related stuff not personal boundaries right more business stuff um so you know you need to reflect on it you might even need to speak to a supervisor about what's happening for you maybe speak to a PO or trusted colleague but, but somebody that knows what they're talking about right uh, I think that is very important and then um, so first and foremost my first point was know that it's normal to happen there's nothing wrong with you when people test your boundaries okay that's just human nature for people to test it um, you know it's how we learn as kids right by testing boundaries so I think to some extent we continue to do that throughout our adult life. Um, be aware of what emotions can pop up for you. Deal with those emotions should you need to. Um, and really come back to a logical place, to a rational place. We've acknowledged those emotions and we go, okay, let's come back to the facts of the matter. Let's come back to our arrangement. Let's step back into that um, adult what a transactional analysis or TA calls the adult ego state that is the professional person, the rational person that goes, okay, if I take all emotions out of it, you know, what is it that I need to remember? Let's come back to the facts, to the arrangement, what is the right thing here? And remember, it's okay for people to ask stuff from you through boundary pushing. So let's say the room rental um, uh, example somebody says I don't want to pay a room rental for that time although they've agreed to do it you know it's okay for them to ask as psychologists we teach people every day that it's okay to be assertive right uh, it's okay we teach people how to do that but it's also okay for you to be assertive and for you to own your boundary right it doesn't have to say something about you uh, and I think that's where a lot of people start to make judgment especially when it comes to money about themselves like if I stick to this boundary and not give away this person a rental fee or if I stick to my boundary and not offer a discount or if I stick to my boundary and not agree to a bill then I'm going to be judged or perceived as a bad person because this is money related or like a greedy person because I'm not willing to um, let go and, and say yes and you know accept less for my services right hey Frank how are you going and I think it's really important that we are mindful of this really tricky variable hey Hannah you done like oh I don't want to pay you that money but you're not allowed to okay it's the same rules for both of us so don't shame yourself because we do this to ourselves and yes sometimes it is the public that shapes us right or the person that rents the room and that comes back with a very defensive response and go oh are you only about the money uh, you don't understand that's about them. You need to remember that. It's so important when somebody comes back with an offensive, negative, snotty, sarcastic response when you have held a boundary, that is about their boundary issues, not yours. Not yours. And the more you do it, the easier it becomes. It's basic exposure therapy, right? Uh, so you have to stick to your boundaries. So there's a couple of things in there that I've gone through. But really, you know, all of them are important. But I think this last part where we tend to shame ourselves in our head and in our hearts, especially when it comes to money, when we don't say yes to discounts, don't say yes to waiving fees, um, you know, we need to stop that. We need to stop that because we're not doing ourselves any favors, we're not doing our team any favors, we're not doing our clients any favors, our referrers, and our general community, right? Unless we stop it, there's going to continue to be a perception that we need to discount our services, for example, as unhealth professionals, right? 
right? It is our job, it starts with us to also educate our community, our referrers, the people in our lives, our friends and family, about why it's important to look after your mental health, right? And why it's okay to have boundaries around money and to say yes when you need to say yes and to say no when you need to say no and be okay with saying no. Very, very important. Do you guys agree? Hey, hey Frank, you're live here with me, Anna Maria. I'm not sure if you're still here. Do you agree? I would love to hear your thoughts on that. As I wait for maybe a comment or two, ideally, just a reminder also guys that if um, you were thinking of coming to my Get It Done residential retreat, which is happening in June, okay, uh, it's now April, May, June, within two months time, be sure to check out the website because the um, 2019 rates kicks in midnight tonight. So it's happening automatically on the system. So uh, I haven't updated the fees for this year. We only have to get it done retreats because of course it's really hard work. <laughs> I only do two a year. It's like, it's probably one of the most exhausting events that I run. Why? It's like, I almost have to sleep for a day when I get back from get it done because I give so much, although I enjoy it so much as well. So I only run two, I run one in June and one in October. So this is the June intake. You can actually book for October now already. And if you wanted to book for October at 2018 rates, you need to book by midnight tonight. Alrighty, um, and the same, so for both, for both of them, June and October, fees will go up to the 2019 rates because everything goes up. Accommodation, the catering, the catering, it's just mind blowing the food that we eat and the catering is probably one of the biggest bulls for the get it done retreat but everything is included it is a residential retreat so your accommodation is included and your food is included everything is included whilst you are there you get to spend time with me and my uh, leadership and management and practice management team which is just amazing and of course you get to spend three days and four nights with an amazing group of private practice owners from around australia uh, the relationships that get started at this event is truly truly amazing and the transformations that happen when people step out of their space out of their practice out of that mindset um, which is of often a very contained mindset and they come in to get it done and they get this input from everyone but especially from my team as well it's like your mind just gets expanded exponentially and it will never be the same again i know it because i follow people's journey from when they come to get it done and how they progress over the next 6 12 18 months and it is truly amazing so i'll put the link are interested would love to host you and have you join us if you have any questions be sure to ask that in the comment section as well all right i don't see any questions or comments here so i'm going to leave it at that guys so really think about what i've discussed with you today about your boundaries um, it's normal for it to happen but unless you actually look at it if unless you actually look at the process of what happens for you when it gets tested you're not going to get better at managing it okay you need to almost have a bit of an observer mindset and step out of the situation next time it happens and go okay what's happening for me here what's going on you know what do I need to do about that all right got it that's what I'm going to do about that from a personal level now let's step back into the adult space professional rational space as a business owner having that hat on so what should my answer be here and don't judge your answer okay don't judge it that's not that's not your job it's not your job to judge your answer or your boundary other people will do that for you right you need to own it you need to state it confidently and that will be fine and whatever people's reaction is remember that's their their, their stuff right you need to own yours and they will own theirs all right everybody i'm going to leave it at that thank you so much for joining me hey abby for joining me at the last minute just as i'm finishing off 
hope you are well in Brizzy and Abby is taking care of PBS HQ for me whilst I'm here and she has been very very busy from what I can gather. I'm gonna love and leave you to go and spend more time with my family and remember it's my pleasure Anna Maria and remember as always all you need to do is say yes to your very own ultimate level 5 private practice and I'll speak again very soon. Bye for now.